Hi and welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to change the skies, uh, just making selections really. Um, so here I've got a picture of Stonehenge, which I took obviously on the 24th of the 10th, 2014. Um, I've changed the sky to give it more of a nicer, dramatic look. Because um, I have to admit the sky over here is a bit plain and here it is a bit more interesting and it brings out the image a bit more. Uh, so I'm going to close this one. Oh, before I close it, let me just go through. So the first image I've created a layer mask which I'll go through when I start doing it with you. And two images of the sky. Um, so main image and the two sky images okay so you want to go down to your selection tool just over there uh, it's a quick selection tool we aren't using the magic wand I will show you in another tutorial with the magic wand um, but today we're just going to use a quick selection so basically we're going to be using masks um, in case we need to edit it back or change anything you can always go back to the mask and edit it in or out if you delete something you obviously can't do that so I prefer using masks for this method I'm just going to select the sky just over there for you you can do it the other way um, it's going to just take a lot longer to make the different selections around all the stones and everything um, <coughs> Okay, so to zoom in, uh, I use Control and the plus, and to zoom out, I use the Control and the minus, and to resize the the selection tool, I'm using the the close bracket to open and close brackets to make it smaller or larger. So I'm just selecting these, just so because. Lots of people uh, forget to do this. They'll select the sky and then they, they'll have those parts still as the old sky, which you don't really want that, to be honest. And that wasn't a very good job I did there. So to minus a selection, you want to hold down the Alt, and if you see there on the, the cursor, it changes to a minus. Um, or what you could do is go up here to the top left, and you can either add to the selection or minus this, uh, to the selection and that's a new selection so if I selected that and uh, clicked over here it would cancel out my current selection which we don't want to do just yet well at all to be honest okay once you've zoomed in as well just while I'm doing this uh, just doing a bit of fine tuning once you zoomed in and if you want to move around your, your board, um, if you hold down the space bar, you see the hand appears. And if you just click down the left mouse button and you can pan about, it makes life a lot simpler than zooming in and out the whole time. Okay, let's see if I've forgotten somewhere. Just that little bit up here. And now if you did want any of these uh, images just for your um, so you can use and practice just to follow along maybe if you get get in touch with me uh, it's info at photomedic photo-medic.co.uk and I'll be more than happy to, to send you the images to work with. Right, so I've selected the whole of the sky here. Now with the layer masks, I'm just going to show you. If I select it, it takes away the ground and all the stones. Because if you see over here in the layer, the actual mask, it's filled that with black. And everything in black you can't see, and everything in white is visible. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to inverse my selection sorry to cancel what I just did there I press Control Z um, that's just the undo button um, 
or you can go here into your history panel and you can change it in there so the, yeah okay so to inverse your selection you want to go to select and inverse or you can use a shortcut shift control i um, lots of people know all the shortcuts uh, i prefer clicking and selecting uh, just to make sure I'm doing it correctly to start off with. But when you get more confident in doing it, then then you'll just, just get used to it. Right, so I've changed my selection. It's selected the ground now and left the sky unselected. So I'm going to click over here for the layer mask. And the sky has disappeared. Okay, I'm just going to show you with the layer mask how it works. I'm just going to, I'll go through this properly in another episode, but if I go into um, into get my brush, so everything there is black, um, the sky is filled in with black, so if I colour in with white, let me just go in a bit more, make the brush a bit smaller, if I go in with white and start colouring it, it brings back um, what I've actually cancelled out, which I don't really want to do in this image, so I'll cancel that and back to this. Okay, so now now we've got that sorted. I'm going to go to my other images, select the Move tool. I'm just going to left click and drag up to there, um, just places it on top. I'm going to hide the layer just so doesn't get in our way and I'm going to drag it beneath because on this layer everything behind it which is blacked out will be be showing so I'm not going to show it just yet because I just want to get these both over and then I'll let you do your make your decisions uh, if you if you have a smaller object um, and you want to center it when you drag it over you want to hold down the shift and then click and drag that's for the smaller objects um, it will center it more in the middle. Okay, so I've dragged those two over. If I make them visible now, we've got the one sky there and the next sky there. And it makes a big difference to, to Stonehenge itself. I'm just zooming out there to show you something else. Um, let's start with, with this one, which is called layer two. If you don't like the position, as you can see, the, the sky one is much bigger than the stones. Um, it's obviously taken with a higher higher um, pixel camera or taken as a bigger image. Okay, so once it's there, uh, you can resize it, you can skew it, you can do anything to it to make it look the way you want it to look. And with this one, I'm going to have it just like that. And then I click the text to accept the transformation. I'm just going to hide that. Let's show that one. And this one's quite a nice um, sunset, which I took in Barbados, actually. So it's a bit contradictive to Stonehenge, but it looks good. And there we go. I'm going to... <clears throat> save that one there so you have the two different backgrounds okay so let's cancel the mask and that's the original image and that's the ones with the masks. Sorry, I was pushing all different keys there. I forgot for a moment what it was to cancel the mask out. But it's shift and you click on the mask itself. And the same to make it visible again. And that is how we use the layer masks and selections. Uh, this is just a very basic uh, tutorial. Um, I will be doing more advanced ones on layer masks and selections so if you'd like to keep following me 
I'm going to try and get tutorials out as often as I can. Probably one to two a week would, would be good. Um, but if you'd like to follow me on Facebook as well, it's Facebook forward slash photomedics. And if there's any images on the actual um, page that you like and that you'd like to learn how to do or create, uh, just let me know and I'll do my best to create a tutorial for it. Thank you very much.